I did go for a skate and I also, did I skate today? Yeah. Hey everyone, <laughs> I need water. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and in today's video I'm going to be sharing a what I eat in a week with you guys. So for these videos what I do is I track for five days straight using Weight Watchers and my fitness pal so I can compare Weight Watchers points to calories and also see where I'm at with my macros, my carbs, my protein, fiber, sugar, all that stuff. So if you enjoy this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. When I do these videos, like I said, I don't track consistently using my fitness pal, but I do with Weight Watchers. I'm back to weight loss mode, which I also switched my, my fitness pal back to weight loss as well. And I only track my calories and stuff like that for these videos. So it just gives me an idea every once in a while to take a chunk of five days, track my eating and see where I'm at, make sure I'm getting enough protein, enough fiber, like I said. So today I'm starting with some breakfast. I just woke up and I just want something a little bit smaller. I'm going to make myself a breakfast sandwich and use one of these light multigrain English muffins for two points. I'm going to use two slices of crocus ham for one point and then I'm just going to cook two eggs over hard and then have a slice of Jarlsberg reduced fat Swiss for two points which is in the fridge so I need to grab that but that's going to make my breakfast sandwich a total of five points on Weight Watchers. I also went ahead and tracked it in my fitness pal and the sandwich is 340 calories with 33 grams of protein. I'm gonna eat this and then I've got some cookie orders to finish up. I'm starting this a little bit later in the week than I usually do. Usually I'm ending these videos with like the cookies and stuff, although sometimes it's different. It just depends what day I start them. But we actually had Culver's for dinner last night. It was usually the night that I have a higher point dinner if I do because I don't go to the gym today, this morning. So I had Culver's, which means I'm almost out of all my weeklies for the week. So I'm gonna kind of cut it back for the next couple days, but then it restarts in two days anyway. So. Okay, I was trying to beat my camera's battery from dying and it died. But anyway, what I was saying is that I'm going to go ahead and make my breakfast sandwich right now. And then I've got to package up some orders. We've got some pickups. And then I'll probably be figuring out lunch. I don't know what we're doing for dinner today. Adam's at work right now, but we've got some meat and stuff that I need to use up in the fridge. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make my breakfast sandwich for five points. Okay, so I just got back from walking the dogs and then going on a quick walk. Not actually that quick though. I ended up getting about 6,000 steps in, so that was really good. I've been trying to just get more steps in on the days that I don't go to the gym or maybe don't skate, although I might skate later today, but I'm just going to play it by ear. I went ahead and made myself some lunch. We had some leftover tempura sweet potato and shrimp from our recent live stream that we did on YouTube where we made homemade sushi so I just had enough for one bowl serving we actually already had some leftovers of it we had a meal the other night we made bowls so I just kind of made the same thing again today but I used edamame because I only had eight shrimp which is one serving so it's got 16 grams of protein but I wanted to add just a little more protein to this so a half cup of edamame has nine grams of protein and it's zero points on Weight Watchers I've got some cucumber to add some crunch that's zero points and then the sweet potato tempura which both of these I just made at home so I've got a base of brown jasmine rice for five points and I tracked this bowl as eight points total so I did five for the rice one for the sweet potato and two for the flour that I used to bread the shrimp tempura and the sweet potato in my fitness pal this lunch is about 554 calories and it's got 32 grams of protein and then I'm also gonna have a side of grapes which this is included with the calories but this is zero points on Weight Watchers so I'm having this and then to the bowl I'm also gonna add some coconut aminos I've been having these more than soy sauce just to see if it makes me less bloated because I feel like soy sauce always makes me really bloated the next day but anyway that's what I'm having for lunch now okay so it is dinner time sorry if you can hear Trevor is cooking some veggies right now but I just finished making mine and Adam's taco pasta for dinner so I used Barilla protein plus pasta for this I have the rotini and I have a six point serving here and what I did is I just mixed it with some corn, tomato, and jalapeno mix that I just quickly made. I just used a can of corn, a can of diced tomatoes, and then a jalapeno from the garden. And I just mixed that together with some seasoning. Then once the pasta was cooked, I strained it and I added that mixture to it. I also added some chicken. So I got this chicken carnitas from our local meal prep service, Duck -a Diet and it's made with chicken breast. It does have oil in the ingredient list, so I did track one point of olive oil, but the chicken zero because it's just shredded chicken breast. So that I tracked one point for, and then I also mixed in some reduced fat cheese blend for two points. So this bowl comes out to nine points total on Weight Watchers. In my fitness pal, it's about 595 calories and it's got 46 grams of protein. So it is a big serving. This bowl makes it look like it's a little bit less, but it's a nice portion for what it is. 
for 9 points. And then I'm also going to have a Honeycrisp apple for 0 points. This one's a little bit bigger, so I do track it as like a large apple in my fitness pal, but still it's 0 points on Weight Watchers. Then I'm going to have a yogurt bowl after, so I went ahead and already pulled out my strawberries. They're just frozen, so I'm going to let them thaw so I can put the yogurt on that, and then I'll track that when I get there. But this is my dinner. I'm going to go ahead and eat this for 9 points. Okay, here's one of the orders I finished up working on. It's just for a custom birthday set for a 75th birthday, and they wanted the colors to be rose gold and black, so this was a fun one. Okay, here's another order that I finished up for a bridal shower, and it's actually for someone that I used to play volleyball with. Her mom ordered them, so I was excited to do this set. Just a pastel love and bloom theme. Okay, so I went ahead and made my yogurt bowl. I accidentally microwaved the strawberries for too long because they were still too frozen, but it actually looks really good, and it got really liquidy which I kind of like when I mix it with the yogurt so I just left it I'm gonna see how it is today but I've got two points of Dan and Light and Fit vanilla Greek yogurt and then I decided to use an extra weekly today on some love crunch so I did three points of the dark chocolate peanut butter love crunch granola my yogurt bowl is five points total on Weight Watchers and I'm ending the day using 27 total points I'm also gonna drink one of these tonight so this is a ready protein water this is just gonna help me to hit my protein goals because I realized that I'm a little bit lower on my protein today, so this will help me get another 20 grams. It is technically a point on Weight Watchers, but one of those mental weeklies that I don't track. So, I'm ending the day using 27 total dailies. In my fitness pal, 1,900 calories total. I had 36 grams of fat, 260 carbs, and 148 grams of protein, and I had 39 grams of fiber. So, a really good day of eating. I'm super excited to have my yogurt bowl, and then I'm gonna make sure to have some water along with my protein water. So, I'll be back with day two tomorrow. Okay, so we're on to day two of my what I eat in a week. I slept in a little bit more than I do usually today. It's Sunday morning, so usually I go to the gym right when they open at seven but I was up a little bit later last night, so I slept in, and I'm gonna go ahead there now. I am gonna actually have a barbell before I go. Usually I don't really have anything before the gym. Sometimes I'll have a ready clean bar, but since it's later, I'm gonna have this, and I'll probably just have like a protein shake right after the gym, and then I'll probably make lunch quickly after that. So I'm having a caramel choco soft barbell. This is five points on Weight Watchers and 16 grams of protein. It's also got 190 calories. So I'm having that. I'm making sure to drink my water. I've got a back and bicep day at the gym today. I actually haven't gone to the gym for upper body this week. I've been doing basement workouts. So I kind of wanted to just get out of the house to do this this morning. And then I might go for a walk to get some steps in. And I've got my video to work on today and a few other things to get done. So. That's my plan. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and head to the gym and I will be back with lunch. Okay, so I am home from the gym right now and it's a little bit closer to lunchtime. So I'm actually gonna just make a protein coffee right now. I've got my cup and then I just made an espresso pod with my Nespresso maker. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that into my cup with a scoop of chocolate collagen. I use the PE Science Chocolate Collagen. It's got 10 grams of protein and 55 calories. And they've got a couple other flavors. We've tried the raspberry, although I don't really want raspberry in my coffee. That works better with like lemonade, but I like the chocolate one for my coffee. I think they have a vanilla or an unflavored as well. So I add that to the Nespresso and then I'm just gonna mix that together. Then next I add a handful of ice cubes. And then a Quest Salted Caramel Protein Shake, which is three points on Weight Watchers, and it's got 30 grams of protein, 170 calories. So this will help me to get my caffeine, some extra protein and collagen in, and I just always really enjoy it. To me, it tastes better than getting a drink from Starbucks. I honestly always prefer this. That is my protein coffee. I'm just tracking it in breakfast. So with the protein bar that I had before the gym, that makes my breakfast 400 calories and 56 grams of protein. And so far I have used eight points today on Weight Watchers. I'm gonna drink this while I work on my video for a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and make some lunch. Okay, so I actually just went on a skate. It was really nice outside. I finished up editing my video and I had some extra time and I wanted to skate before I ate something. So I'm having a little bit of a later lunch but I'll be fine for dinner because I think we're gonna do soup for dinner. I kind of want to do like a ramen dish. But for lunch today, I'm having tuna. So I've got a can of this chunk light tuna. It is zero points on Weight Watchers. It's got 90 calories and 20 grams of protein. And I'm just gonna strain this and mix it with a scoop of plain non-fat Greek yogurt and some seasoning. And that's gonna be my protein for my meal. I'm gonna use one of these sandwich buns. They're five points on Weight Watchers.
Watchers and they have seven grams of protein. I like that they're big so I can just open them up and I'm gonna put tuna on both sides and make it like a tuna melt that I'm gonna pop in the air fryer. And then I'm gonna top it with some reduced fat Mexican blend cheese. I'm just gonna do a point on each half of bread. And then I'm also gonna top it with some of these pickled onions that I made. That'll be my lunch. It'll be seven points total. So it's five for the bread and two for the cheese. Then I'm also gonna have some red grapes on the side for zero points. So. I'm gonna go ahead and make my lunch. With the grapes included, it's 395 calories and it's got 32 grams of protein. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the air fryer and then get eating. Okay, so I got my video posted. Adam got home from work and we just took the dogs for a walk. We actually also went and played a couple rounds of pickleball. So that was a lot of fun and more intense than I expected. I was out of breath for a little bit of that, but it was a lot of fun. So now we are eating dinner. I made us some ramen inspired soup, I would say. So I've got some edamame carrots for zero points. And then I cooked up some blackened chicken in the air fryer for zero points as well. For the noodles in here, I have the Thai kitchen brown rice noodles and that's six points. And then I have two points of Trader Joe's cilantro chicken mini wontons. So I just tossed those into the broth with the noodles as well. I cooked up the veggies first and then added the broth, which is actually kettle and fire mushroom chicken bone broth. It's one point for the cup that I have in here and then I added some water. And then I added five chicken cilantro mini wontons for two points and that makes my soup. So nine points total for this bowl. And then in my fitness pal, it's about 650 calories and it's got 61 grams of protein. So the bone broth has 10 grams of protein. The edamame has nine grams of protein. The chicken that I used has 33 grams of protein. And then the wontons have four. So it adds up to a lot. The noodles also have some, I think they have four grams. So that's why it's so high in protein, but this is gonna be super filling and this is exactly what I'm craving right now. So I'm excited to eat this. Okay, so dinner was delicious. That blackened chicken ended up being so spicy. When I was cutting it up to add it to the ramen bowls, I could tell it had a lot of seasoning on it and I gave Adam the one that had even more, but even he was like sweating during dinner eating that ramen, but it was so good. It was just a little bit spicy, but I ate my apple after for zero points. And now I'm gonna go ahead and end the night with a bowl of cereal. So here I've got some Lovebird honey cereal. It's three points for three quarter cup. Then I've got a banana for zero points and I'm gonna add one point of this fair life fat free milk so I can do three quarters of that and that'll help me to get a little bit more protein in and I don't know why I have just been craving cereal lately and ever since we tried the lovebird cereal in a recent snack review I have been obsessed with it we've bought it so many times already and it was at Costco I might even go back before it's gone because I've really been loving it so it's only three points for the serving which is nice as well and that's gonna wrap up my day for day two I ended the day using 28 total dailies in Weight Watchers then in my fitness pal I had 1,000 824 calories. I had 30 grams of fat, 239 carbs, and 163 grams of protein. So good on my protein goal. Fiber was 31 as well. Hit my fiber goal. And I also hit 10,000 steps today walking the dogs and just going out and getting some extra steps throughout the day. So I'm really happy about that. I feel really good about today and I am ready to take on tomorrow, which will be day three. So I will be back tomorrow. Okay, we are on to day three of my what I eat in a week. My mouth is a little swollen right now and I'm probably talking funny because I actually just got back from the dentist. I don't think I've mentioned it yet in this video, but the other night I cracked my tooth and I knew that I needed to get into the dentist. It has been over 15 years since I've gone. I had a really traumatic experience as a child and haven't been back since. Actually, the same dentist that we had gone to, my mom and brother had very similar experiences to me and they haven't been back since because it has just been traumatic for all of us. And it was something that I've stressed about and been terrified about for years. I have another tooth that I know needs to be looked at, but cracking this one was just like the breaking point and I knew that I needed to get it figured out. So I looked up some reviews online and found a office that people said were really good with anxiety. And I called them this morning. I did start crying a little bit on the phone when I was scheduling the appointment, but the lady was so extremely nice. They were able to get me in right away and everyone was awesome. I needed a crown and they did some work on the tooth that was chipped and I honestly can't believe I didn't feel any pain. That's what I was so terrified about. It just went really smoothly and really well. And you can see my mouth is still pretty numb, which kind of messes up by what I eat in a week for today because it'll change what I'm eating, but not a huge deal. I feel like this is just real life and I'll show you guys how I try to stay on track even when stuff like this is thrown at me. So I did get a little gold star sticker and I'm wearing this thing all day because I'm so proud that I actually did it. I did not expect to actually 
ever did this. This is something that I've put off for a really long time and yeah, I just feel such a weight off my shoulder right now. Even to the point that while we were paying for my appointment, Adam was with me and he needed a new dentist too. He's much more up to date on his like dental stuff, but his dentist recently retired, so he needed a new one. And so as I was getting my work done, he went and scheduled an appointment for his cleaning and they said it would be tomorrow. And then when we were paying and everything, then they asked if we could just both come in today for a cleaning. So we're actually going back later today to get our cleaning, which again, I haven't had a cleaning in like 15 plus years. So so I'm nervous, but not nearly as nervous as I was before. Honestly, I feel so much better. I don't even feel that that nervous. So anyway, I'm just talking a lot, but I wanted to explain that because it is going to kind of change how I'm eating today. It is still really numb on the side of my mouth and I'm just going to have to be careful chewing because it is a temporary crown. I'm going to go back in two weeks to get the permanent one. So that's the update for today, but I am going to make myself a drink. I was actually at the gym when I decided to call them and I didn't know they'd be able to get me in right away. So I didn't even get to finish my workout today, but I still want to get some good protein in and I'm going to have to do some like soft foods and liquids today. So I'm going to start with a protein coffee. I've got a class salted caramel protein shake for three points and a scoop of chocolate collagen. I'm going to do an espresso pot and some ice cubes and this will be my breakfast. And then I'll just see how the rest of the day goes. We might be having soup again today, but I always love soup. So anyway, I'll be back with the next thing I eat. I'm going to go ahead and make myself my protein coffee and see how well I can drink it. Okay. Okay, so my mouth is still pretty numb. My tongue is back though, so that's good. And I think I'll be good to eat some soup right now. I just ran to Panera and got a bowl of their chicken noodle soup. And then I did get a baguette with it. I'm just gonna kind of soak it in the soup and see if I can eat it. I can still chew on this side, so I think that I'll be good. But that's gonna be eight points total. It's four for the bowl of soup and four for the baguette. In my fitness pal, it is 350 calories and it's got 19 grams of protein. So I think what I'm gonna do is eat this and then I might even make a protein shake with a banana after, but I'm gonna see how I feel after I eat this. Okay. Okay, my lunch was really good, but I decided I'm still hungry and I want a protein shake. So I went ahead and made myself a protein shake using a banana for zero points. Then I did three quarter cup of Fairlife milk for one point. And then I had these sample protein packets from PE Science. So I had two different flavors. One was peanut butter cup and the other was frosted cupcake. So each of those is like a half scoop. So I have a total of one scoop for two points on Weight Watchers and it's got 24 grams of protein. So the entire protein shake has 35 grams of protein, 285 calories, and it's three points on Weight Watchers. Okay, it is dinner time, and I just made us some softer foods today because of my tooth and the crown. So I have some chicken pot stickers. It is four points for six of them. They're just from Trader Joe's. Then this is also from Trader Joe's. It is a ginger shrimp noodle stir fry. So the serving that I have here is six points on Weight Watchers. And then I found some salmon burgers we had in the freezer from Aldi, and one of them is three points. So this dinner is a little bit higher. It's 13 points on Weight Watchers, but my lunch was a little bit smaller today and I'm feeling pretty hungry, so I'm excited to eat this. And my fitness pal, it's 528 calories and 34 grams of protein. I also can't eat an apple tonight because I'm not supposed to chew anything too hard, so I'm just gonna have an applesauce. This is zero points. It's the no sugar added cinnamon. Hi, dogs. You guys want my applesauce? Hi. <coughs> Hi. Okay, so dinner was really good and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up day three with some dessert. So Adam and I just tried some creamies and that's what I'm gonna be having. This is eight points total for this serving because both of these are higher in protein. They both have protein powder. They also have whole milk from the brand Fairlife. So eight points for my ice cream and that's gonna wrap up my night tonight. The reason I decided to have this is even though I'm over my points and I'm gonna have to use some weeklies, my calories were really low for the day, so I wanted to just get something else in that had some protein as well. So I'm ending the day today using 35 total dailies. So I did have to use some weeklies, which actually reset tomorrow. So I am a few negative, but not a big deal because I don't actually track any activity points. So I always keep that in mind if I go negative, it's not a huge deal. I just try to kind of keep it under control, but 35 points on Weight Watchers. And then in my fitness pal today, I had 1,693 calories. I had 36 grams of fat, 173 carbs, and 166 grams of protein. I was really low on my fiber goal today. I had only 14 grams, so I will just try to make up for that tomorrow. It also did kind of have to do with just being able to chew and stuff with my tooth. And so hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit easier, but I'll be back with day four tomorrow. Okay, we are on to day four of my what I eat in a week and I woke up feeling really good this morning, honestly. My teeth felt really clean and I just felt like such a relief that I actually went and did that yesterday. It was something that honestly has been stressing me out for years and years now. So it was a huge thing to tackle and even going back for the cleaning, I can't believe I went to the dentist twice yesterday and it went well. So feeling 
feeling really good. I woke up feeling good because of that and kind of feeling motivated. So I got up, went to the gym and had a good upper body day. I did chest and shoulders. And then when I got back, I just quickly took the dogs for their walks. So now I made myself some breakfast. I've got some scrambled eggs here. So I've got three eggs with some spinach and red onion. Then I've got two Amy Lou chicken sausages for a point, And then a half serving of reduced fat mozzarella cheese from Trader Joe's for a point. I accidentally toasted my bread a little bit too long, but I think it'll be good. I sprayed it with a little bit of ghee spray. And this is just the Trader Joe's ancient seed and grain bread. It's three points for two slices. My breakfast is five points total on Weight Watchers. And then in my fitness pal, it is 300 calories and it's got 30 grams of protein. I'm also just gonna go ahead and track a protein coffee because I'm gonna make that right after I eat this. So with that, I just use a Quest salted caramel protein shake for three points. I'm gonna use a scoop of chocolate collagen and then I'm going to use a Nespresso pod using my Nespresso maker. I add some ice to that. I track it as three points and it helps me to hit my protein goals because that's 40 grams of protein there. Adam and I are filming a snack review today. So when we do that, we just scan everything and then we track usually the serving we have Sometimes the serving that we try is even like zero points, but it'll be anywhere from zero, one, two, three, four points, depending on what we eat. I'm gonna track that. I'm not gonna share exactly what we have today, but I'll tell you the points after and then like the calories probably that we ate, but that's what we're gonna do for today. And then I don't know what the plan is for dinner, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat my breakfast. Okay, so we just got done filming a snack review and I went ahead and tracked everything in Weight Watchers and my fitness pal. So I'm definitely gonna need to catch up a little bit with my protein probably with dinner tonight, just cause I didn't have much protein with lunch, but not a huge deal. So I'm not gonna go into detail about everything we tried, but I did track each portion that I ate of each snack and it came out to 13 total points. And those 13 points also include a half Half cup of chocolate milk from Fairlife because we also tried a creamy and had a three point portion. That is also in my lunch and also helped me get a little bit more protein in. So a 13 point lunch today, which definitely means I'm gonna have to use some weeklies for dinner, but not a big deal. I'm just gonna focus on getting some protein and veggies in. But in my fitness pal, it was about 427 calories for what we had and about 24 grams of protein. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up editing. I did skate today, so that I also keep in mind with using more points and stuff as well because I was more active. I worked out at the gym and skated today. And I'm also gonna try to get more steps in later, but we'll see how it goes. But again, I don't do exactly translating my activity points to food points. I just keep it in mind in the back of my head on the days when I'm more active. So anyway, I've gotta finish up editing a video right now and then I'll be back when I figure out what we're having for dinner. Okay, it is dinner time now and we are having some shrimp tacos type things here. So we've each got three corn tortillas here that we split up the shrimp ceviche from Sam's Club. So I just divvied it up between all of our tortillas. It's zero points for that on Weight Watchers because it's pretty much just like pico de gallo. It's got like cucumbers, onion, jalapeno, and tomato, and then shrimp for zero points. So each of our tacos has five shrimp. Then I also made us some like Spanish style rice. I had some brown jasmine rice in the fridge and then a corn and tomato mix from a previous meal. So I just mixed that in and then we also had some 99% lean ground turkey in the fridge that I cooked up into taco meat. And I mixed a little bit of that into here for zero points so that I could add some protein. My dinner's only six points on Weight Watchers. It's two for the serving of brown rice and four for the three tortillas. Then in my fitness pal, this dinner is 485 calories and 48 grams of protein. So this will really help me get up to my protein goal today. I'm not gonna eat my apple normal. I think I'm gonna cook it and make like cinnamon apples for dessert, but I'm just gonna eat this first and then I'm making it just softer because of my tooth. I'm just trying to be a little bit more careful. That's why most of this is pretty soft today too as well. So we're gonna go ahead and eat dinner. Okay, so I finished up dinner. It was really good and really filling, but I do wanna have my apple. And so I decided to turn it into my my dessert tonight, but I made it softer. I went ahead and cooked it. I just heated up some water and then sliced up the apple and cooked it in there for a little bit, similar to how I made it for my recent breakfast video where I made French toast. But then I just added a point worth of the brown coconut sugar that I like to use, some cinnamon, and a little, little bit of cornstarch. And I just mixed that together and cooked it covered for probably like 10 to 15 minutes. Then I let the apples cool down for a little bit and I used a container of the vanilla Greek yogurt from Aldi. It was just like an individual container for two points. So I topped it with that and then a little bit of the Flavor God buttery cinnamon roll topper on top. So this is three points. It's a point for the brown sugar and then two for the yogurt. And that's gonna wrap up my night for tonight and day four for my what I eat in a week. I ended the day using a total of 30 points on Weight Watchers. So I had to use some weeklies today. I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit lower tomorrow just so that I don't use up too many, even though we don't really have anything huge planned for it this week. 
but I was active today. I did go for a skate and I went to the gym this morning. So I always factor that in. And 30 points used today is not bad, especially for a day that we do a snack review because that's always like a higher point lunch. So that was a 13 point lunch today. But anyway, in my fitness pal, I had a total of 1,669 calories. I had 45 grams of fat, 170 carbs, and 154 grams of protein. A good day of eating. I felt good and I'm really excited to eat these apples right now. They smell delicious and I've really been enjoying them kind of cooked like this. So. That wraps up day four and I'll be back with day five tomorrow. Okay, we are on to day five of my what I eat in a week. I got up this morning and went to the gym. I did a quad and calf workout and it was really good. My legs are feeling it today, but not as much as normal. So I think I am gonna still skate today. Sometimes I like to take my leg days off of skating just because I'm more sore. But today I feel good and it's really nice out and we're going on vacation next week and I'm not gonna be able to skate for a week straight. So I wanna go get a skate in today. But before I do that, I am gonna eat something. I'm gonna make two of these veggies made great egg frittata bites they're like the egg white ones it's three points for two of them and then i'm also going to make my protein coffee to have right when i get back sometimes i like to let it sit and let the ice melt in it a little bit i feel like it first of all cools it down and it makes it just like a little bit watered down because sometimes it is really sweet so i am going to use one of these quest salted caramel protein shakes it's got 30 grams of protein i'm also going to do a scoop of chocolate collagen for 10 grams of protein then i add ice and an espresso pod that'll be three points for the coffee three points for the egg bites making my breakfast a total of six points today. And then in my fitness pal, it's 350 calories and 50 grams of protein. So starting off with a lot of protein and my protein coffees always help me to just stay a little bit more full in the morning. I didn't wanna have a full breakfast before I go skate really quick. This will be perfect. I'm gonna skate and then I'm gonna come back and drink my coffee. And then I might even have an earlier lunch today. Okay, so I went for a skate. It was really nice out and I did about 40 minutes. And then I came home, showered, did some work and now it is time to eat lunch. I wanted to eat something kind of soft today. I was craving pasta and I decided to do tuna noodles, but I didn't have any veggie mix made. So I used some grape tomatoes and some fresh basil from the garden and I just air fried them the same way that I make the regular pasta without the tuna. I just did that and then added the tuna in and some grated Parmesan cheese. So this smells like Olive Garden right now. It smells so good and I'm really hungry. I'm excited to eat it. It is seven points total on Weight Watchers. It's six points for the pasta that I used, which is the Barilla Protein Plus Pasta. I usually get that from like Walmart, but recently I found that Mariano's has like all the different noodle types, whereas Walmart's only had like the penne and the spaghetti lately. But anyway. It's about 416 calories and it's got 38 grams of protein. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and see how I'm feeling if I wanna do any type of like a sweet snack after or I might even just snack in a little before dinner, but I'm gonna go ahead and have this now. Okay, so I don't typically track these in Weight Watchers. They are technically a point, but I skated today, so we're just gonna count that as one wash. So we're just gonna count that as a weekly point, but this is 20 grams of protein. It's got zero grams of sugar and it's 90 calories. So I'm gonna drink this right now, and this is the grapefruit flavor. Okay, it is dinner time, and for dinner tonight, we're doing some chicken enchilada bakes. So you can probably hear our oven going right now. They're baking in there, and they are seven points for what we're having each. I use the glass baking dish that I have from Ikea. I like to use those for like enchilada bakes and pizzas and stuff. They work really nicely in the oven and like a perfect portion size, we like to just each have our own. So what I did is I took a large La Banderita carb counter tortilla. I put some shredded taco chicken in there for zero points. And then I mixed the shredded taco chicken with some brown jasmine rice. So we have a three point serving in each burrito. Then I also chopped up some grape tomatoes. So I had some leftover from lunch that I had today and I just finished off the container. And so I cut those up and mixed those in as well. Then I used that as the filling in the La Banderita tortillas, wrapped them up, topped them with a little bit of green chili sauce and then some light mozzarella cheese from Trader Joe's for two points. It's three points for the serving of brown rice that's in the burrito, two points for the actual tortilla, and then two points for the mozzarella cheese on top. So seven points total for this dinner. In my fitness pal, it's about 410 calories and it's got 40 grams of protein. I'm excited to eat this. I'll show you guys when it comes out of the oven, but really quick, I also wanted to mention, I'm going to be posting this video on a Sunday and I have a giveaway going on right now on my Instagram account. Last time I did the YouTube giveaway, there were a bunch of like scammers that commented and it was just kind of a mess. So it is much easier to do giveaways on Instagram. If you guys have an Instagram account and you wanna go check it out, I just wanted to let you guys know because I appreciate your support here. I hit 200,000 followers on Instagram and I wanted to celebrate it with a giveaway. So if you wanna head over there, I'm giving away 
away a creamy and it'll be going on until Friday, September 20th, 2024. If you guys want to go check that out and enter that giveaway, it is on my Instagram. I just recently posted a creamy video and that is what I use for it. It is a Ninja Creamy and that's what I'm giving away. So I'm also giving away some cookbooks for runner up prizes. And yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. Anyway, once this dinner's done, I'll show you it, but that's what I'm gonna be having for seven points. Then I'm also gonna cook up my apple like I did yesterday and put yogurt on it, so I'll show you guys that when I do it, but it was really good and I wanna do it that way again. Again, just because of my tooth, I'm trying to be a little bit more cautious. Okay, so that dinner was really good. It was a good use of some leftover stuff that we had to use up and it didn't even take that long to kind of just throw together and pop in the oven. That was quick and easy. Seven points wasn't bad for a filling serving as well, but I am gonna have my apple. So I mentioned yesterday, I've been cooking it to make it soft because of my tooth. So I did the same thing again today because it was just so good yesterday, especially with the yogurt. And then today I decided to try something else and add some cereal as well. So. I had two extra points left for the day and I wanted to use them up and I used them on two points of this Lovebird cinnamon cereal. So my yogurt bowl is five points. It's two points for the yogurt that I used, which is just a container of vanilla Greek yogurt from Aldi. Then I have a point of coconut palm sugar that I added to the apples and then two points of the Lovebird cereal. I ended up using a total of 25 points on Weight Watchers today, so 25 out of 25. I didn't have to use any weeklies. And in my fitness pal, I used a total of 1,546 calories today. I had 28 grams of fat, 179 carbs, and 162 grams of protein. I actually hit my protein goal today. It was right in the range I tried to hit, and I know that my protein coffee and the protein water helped me with that. I also had 38 grams of fiber. Again, I know that the La Banderita tortilla helped me to hit that goal, but higher than my goal for that today. So another good day of eating and that will wrap up my what I eat in a week. I hope you guys get some inspiration from the meals that I share. I know this week was a little different with my tooth. I did not expect that, but it also just kind of shows what I do when I try to go with the flow and just take it a day at a time and make it work with the program. So this is what I do and I just hope that sharing my journey helps out anyone else. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> that took so much longer. <laughs> <laughs> what were you already? If you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.